Give me that, give me that red light special. It looks oh, orange. The red light special. That's my What's up, Basil Bay? It's your girl Joy back with another banger. Child, I'm tired. <laughs> mm, you know how you just eat and you just ready to go night night? It is Saturday. I had a very interesting day. I just took two aspirin. I have a headache. So, before we get into this video, please give it a thumbs up, like, comment, share, subscribe. And I'm ready to pop these eyelashes right off, child, and go to bed. I'm ready to go night. Look, I'm ready to go night, night. <laughs> you know how you get comfy in your bed? Got the TV on. I got my kit. Oh, this can't. No, 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 no. Oh, I blew my candles out because I went downstairs to do a mukbang. That's what I, I was like, no, my candles are lit, but my Scentsy candle is still on. That's not a flame. That's a light bulb, okay? Big difference, but when I leave the room and I know I'm going to be gone for a minute, I always blow my candles out. So if you love having candles, if you know you're going to be gone from your room for an extended period of time, please blow your candles out for your safety and your well-being. Thank you. That is my public service announcement for the day. <laughs> well, I had a very interesting day trying to deal with my car. You know, my seat is not working. I sat in the car repair shop for three hours. So we went to the gym, took a killer cycling class. Ooh, child, that thing almost made me die. She was good. She was good. She was good because she kept the um, she kept us all pumped up throughout the whole class so it was a really good class oh i got a headache so this video is not gonna be long i just i just took the aspirin so it needs time to work and um bobby i don't know we just we've just been so busy bobby has been busy bobby has been inundated with homework and activities and basketball it's just been kind of chaotic for the whole household or I'm just downright exhausted. So today is the day we are going to go into Bobby's sexy room, okay? That is a sexy room. You gonna see, you gonna check it out. So this is really all about her. I really don't have to be there, but you know, you know, what's a video without mom? What's a video without me, okay? I could imagine. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Look. Maybe I have more than five subscribers. That's what will happen, okay? <laughs> but, um, so let's go check out Bobby. I'm ready to take all this down, y'all. This is falling down. And, um, let's check out Bobby. See what she's doing. Ooh, this is, this is a hot mess, y'all. Oh, my God. What is going on here? This is, ooh. This is like a tsunami. The whole thing is just coming down. Could I get a warning? Can I get an SOS signal or something? Lord Jesus, that's not cute. What in the world happened? Anyway, this is, I'm not cute. The, the boop, boop, boop. Okay, let's go check out Bobby. Let's go. My little plant is dying. I think it's because I don't get sunlight in here. Hey girl, how you doing girl? What you doing? What you, what's this? Ali Wong, hard nut life. Okay girl, I'll see you. This the lock that Connie got me. Yeah, it locks when I'm inside the room, not when I leave. Look, we still haven't hung this up. Hey Bobby. Look at Bobby, she even got her candles. Alexa, pause. She's playing D'Angelo. There's a little story behind that, but we're not sharing that today. <laughs> we, we're not talking about D'Angelo and how Bobby was introduced to D'Angelo today. Yeah, he's old school. He kind of fell off the map. But hey, Bobby, what you say? Hi. You don't have no home? Where you get Skittles from, Bobby? Clinton. Clinton gave you Skittles? Mm -hmm. 
Clinton gave you Skittles. He like bought them for you? No, he got them and then he gave them to me. They're sour? Mm. You want them? Nope, I don't like sour. I got regular. All right, Bobby, so this is all you. I'm leaving. You leaving? Yes. Well, yeah, why do I have to be here? I need a cameraman. <laughs> okay, so, okay. Okay, so, welcome to my crib. So, anyway, back to me. Ooh, this is not cute, y'all. But anyway, we were supposed to do our vision boards for 2020. That never happened. It's, it doesn't mean that it still won't happen. Mm -hmm. The ideas were in my head. I did cut out all my pieces, though. You can't tell me how to cut out my pieces. Is yours ready, Bobby? Girl. And Bobby is still working on hers. I don't look. This is Bobby's. Bobby's still working on hers. This is Bobby's so far. This is her vision board for 2020. Anything you want to explain on here, Bobby? So, this, so she still has to fill this up. That's like the future. Oh, side. that's the future side. the future side. Her educational side. Oh, you got Howard. You got a little um HBCU down there, huh? Okay. Uh. Berkeley. Okay. GPA 5.0. Okay, Bobby. Super crispy. That's an inside joke. Oh, okay. With my coach. Oh, with your coach. And her little candle. Since Connie, shout out to you for giving it to okay, me. Okay, thank you. I shared one of my candles with her. All right, you never really did a, a tour of your room, really, Yes. Mark. I don't think. Have I? Have you ever? No, no, we've just been in here, but no tour. So the official 2020 tour. Joy, open the door. I'm here, darling. Joy, open the door. I'm here, darling. So this is the view when you walk in. I have my bookshelf. Okay, what what's so special about this bookshelf, Bobby? Well, what's so special is that I designed it by myself. So why all your books face <laughs> backwards, Bobby? Because <laughs> it's just for the aesthetic, okay? It's just the aesthetic. I've probably read most of them anyways. Uh -huh. So, you know, we don't have to see them, so... Um, so yeah, I, I designed this little bookcase by myself. It's super cute. It is cute. And this is actually a very good book. Oh, yes, I've yet to read it. Oh, you haven't cute. read it? No, not yet. Sydney has. Um, oh, excuse me. But I wanted to see the book, not your... <laughs> what is that? Oh, it's a... It's a old, um, iPod. Oh, so that's your display. Yeah. Oh, I see you got the candle holders over there, huh? Oh, they're candle holders? I didn't even know that. Oh, you got one way up to the top, huh? Yeah, she's cute. The bottom has yet to be done yet, so we're going to stay up here. The bottom looks good. So, here's the story with these right here. There's a story with these. These are encyclopedias. I had these when I was a little girl. And I just kept them. And then I, I found this at a thrift store. And I just loved it. But these are actually phenomenal encyclopedias. And it has a wealth of information. Even stuff I still don't know. So they're like kitty encyclopedias that I gifted to Bobby. And she has her little watch on her little stand. Okay. These are all her little markers. They color coded, Bobby? Yes. Okay. Warm colors and cool colors. So that's my bookcase. And then, um, that's really it for that side. I have this little bench right here that has some backpacks and stuff in it. And I'm going to make a, um, a cushion, but that just has yet to happen. So I think it's the most exciting part of my room. The most exciting is my desk, which first I would like to thank some lovely people who have sent me yes. some of these gifts. This is long overdue and I apologize for that. I've been a busy lady. <laughs> but, so, You've been a busy teen, huh? I've been a busy lady. So what you Ooh, see right here. You got your stand going on. On this side of my desk is mostly gifts that I received. Actually, these are all gifts that I received for 
um, Christmas off of my wish list. So I have my books for my SAT and AP classes, my ACT, these cute tape dispenser as well as a stapler. Cute. They're super cute. And then also flashcards for my AP test down here. And then I have my Alexa, which I love so much. Do you remember who got you the Alexa? I don't. Thanks. It's good to be appreciated. Aww. Oh, that's cute. She heard me. Mm hmm But I don't remember. I have all the little notes somewhere, but you guys know who you are. So Thank I'm you. truly appreciative. And so another exciting thing. Oh, boy. Here's the big reveal. I also got desk organizers and this is probably my favorite part um my color coded oh my goodness Bobby pens markers and then on this side this is just some more desk things sticky notes my remotes and some you know just little desk cute things and then this book, which is 14,000 things to be happy about. You still have that cookie, Bobby. You better throw that away. I know I will. But, and then. And then you have that. Yes. And then on this side of my desk, I also have this other organizer that somebody got me. And I have another piece set to this, but I just haven't put it up yet. Oh, you need a battery for the clock. Yeah, it's broken. It, is it broken or you need a battery? Well, I think it just needs battery. Okay, so we, I we might have, have a battery. Cute little setup. Mm -hmm. We got that. Where did you get that red thing? This is yeah. from the thrift store, and I think it's the absolute cutest. Yeah, thing. we it, really lucked out with that it one. It's the best find I've ever found at a thrift store. And then I just have some medals, and then these are all like my awards in here. So I have National Honor Society awards, basketball medals, just some cute stuff. And so, you know, if I ever wanted to party. Oh, I, this is the ultimate. Now, I, do you know who these are from? So special shout out to Miss Connie Chow for these lovely lights that I have recently put up in my room. And it is the most exciting addition. Come on, Bobby, give them the red light special. <laughs> the red light special. She loves the red light, so I guess we'll do that. Oh, it doesn't show up as red. Whoa. Guys, the lights are red. You can't see it. That's the red light special. Ah! Red light special. <laughs> These are my favorite. So the lights are red going around the room. I call it the red light special. <laughs> okay, you about to change your colors? Ooh. Oh, no, fast. But, yes, it was quite an adventure to put these up. But I think it was very worth it in the long run. So, she put up how many packs of lights? This is three, and I think honestly, you gotta turn your lights back on. It was the perfect amount of lights. It was three sets of lights, and I think it was the perfect amount. Yeah, so, she loves her lights. That's in her room. I know. I love it. I have them on all the time. Oh, whoa, whoa, Bobby! <laughs> oh, whoa, Bobby! But. <laughs> Yes, I really love my room. Yeah. You need, it's like you, you need something else. Yeah, I can't. You need like a nice chair over there or something? Or like a big plant or both? Oh uh, yeah, I can see that. I can see that, I can definitely see a big plant. Yes, 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 yes. Cause we have yeah. a lot. There's this one little empty space right here. Yeah. And I wanna get like a cuter laundry thing. You know? Why your laundry basket should be in your closet? It doesn't fit. My mini fridge is taking it up. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Well, Bobby came home the other day with some good news. 
But oh, it's your good news, Bobby. Oh, my God. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. I didn't forget, Bobby. Okay. What's your good news? You want to tell? No. no I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. <laughs> so, basically, I got a little letter in class to go down. So, anyway, I came oh, home excuse, yesterday. Excuse me. Excuse me. I got a letter to go to the counselor's office. To go and when I win when this was so today is Saturday when this video will get <clears throat> up we don't know but as the date of this video or the day of this video it is Saturday evening and so Friday she came home and she was like I have some good news for you I was sitting in my car and she was like I have some good news I want to share with you I'm like okay let me finish my meditation in the car okay and action and mm -hmm. so, I I was in my room for a little bit, and she was like, waiting, waiting, because, you know, that anticipation was just building up. She just had to know. But, um, <laughs> um, so basically, on Friday, I found out that I was nominated by one of my lovely teachers that to be a girl state representative for... College Park, which is my school. Should I not say that? Back that up. Well, I can... found out that I was nominated by one of my teachers to be a girl state representative for my school, which is a I, big deal. It's a really big deal, honest. It's for like it looks really good on my college, my college applications when I start that process next year, and it's also like. I guess it'll just be a good experience to have if I get in. It's basically, I got nominated, which is a very big deal to even be nominated for it. Out it, of uh, 1,200 kids out of her graduating class. How many in your graduating class, matter of fact? I, I don't know, I just made that up. Like 900. Not, okay, I was close. So, how many people were downstairs waiting who were nominated? Um, I think it's about like 15 of us. 15 out of 900 kids. That's well, a big deal, Bobby. It'll, it's probably like 30 of us because it's girls and boys. Oh, yeah, okay. But that's still a with big deal. girls, it's about 15 of us. And so, basically, if I... So, I got nominated and then that's the first phase of it. And then the next phase is a interview with the main people who, like, run the Texas state. I mean yeah for like girl state and so then i have an interview on friday yeah, she friday. has to dress up yeah i have to dress in like business like blazer like business casual so i'm sure ready. she'll be in my closet i that. sure will because i don't own clothes like that but I interview for it next Friday and I have to submit my application and also an essay on Wednesday the coming Wednesday so I have to work on that along with my thousand other things I have to do but um girl state I'm not even a hundred percent sure what it is but it is so uh, it's pretty much like a political seminar mm -hmm. and there was another girl who went through the whole process and she changed her whole major uh to poli sci to a poli sci major she was so impressed with the program so she goes to the in she she goes through the interview process and all that stuff and then if she makes it to the next level then she'll head on over to austin for a whole week What's the exciting news about that, Bobby? Yeah, so that's kind of the downside that this lovely lady right here has to be my transportation to and from and around Austin all that time I'm there. But, you know. And then if she does well and if she's chosen from Austin, where they spend a week and they go, you know, which is the state capital of Texas, and they go to the Senate and all that stuff. And if she makes it to the next level, then they fly out to Washington. And what is that level? That is Girls Nation. 
Yes. But that's kind of getting ahead of myself. We're just going to start with the interview <laughs> and see how that goes because I will say I'm not a very well-rounded individual when it comes to politics. the world of politics and government and how our government is ran. Yeah, I would say I'm the same. I, you know, it's the same here. I didn't grow up in that type of background at home. You know, what I was faced at home was educational abandonment. So, you know, so I had to pick up the scraps wherever I could on my own, actually. But I think it's um, a wonderful opportunity to expose yourself to politics. And, and I also feel like being exposed to politics, you know, she gets another perspective on what she can major in in college. And I, I figure in politics, I was telling her, I said, if you go into politics, you're changing. You have an opportunity to change the world. You have an opportunity to make a bigger impact on society versus, okay, I'm an architect, which is nothing wrong with that. Whatever you choose to do is whatever you choose to do. I'm just having this conversation with her. And I was like, you know, you become an architect. Okay, you're building this bridge or you finding out the structure of this and that. But if you're making a powerful impact on the people and on a compute on the community and the world, it would definitely be poli sci <laughs> or a teacher. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Don't 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 do that because you it, they don't make money. Mm -hmm. Don't become a teacher. Oh, there's no money. There's no money unless you're gonna become a professor. I don't know. I don't think I could do it. Mm -mm. But <laughs> yeah, as of right now, I think I, although it's like a, you know, have to write an essay, have to, I guess I'm going to have to do some research about what this opportunity holds and what it's about. Mm -hmm. And so I don't know. I think because although I'm not into politics, I always had like a passion for like civil rights and like the law oh really yeah like because i thought about being a i don't remember what it's called but i think it's like a civil rights lawyer because i did a lot of college research about like career choices and stuff and that was definitely one of them but i don't know i don't know i think it would be a good opportunity and they said there were people who had gone through it came in to talk to us about it and they said it was a really just good experience to have so i don't know but then you also went to that stem meeting and then you were excited about the STEM. yeah and what does stem stand for science technology engineering, engineering and math yeah so she went to she was invited to a stem uh conference right mm -hmm. was it for all girls yeah and she was she came back hyped about that so yeah because it was a really good that was also an amazing experience it was a women's and engineering seminar conference and i just got to just be around a lot of women in the engineering um and see when i was growing up i didn't have all these opportunities or i didn't even have a parent who even cared or concerned about stuff like this so you know it was like i was swimming upstream so i just majored in liberal arts because i didn't know yeah. i knew deep down inside i wanted to be a teacher because i played teacher in my bedroom <laughs> I was a mean teacher in the bedroom when I was a little kid. So I always had an affinity for teaching, but I didn't pursue it until well after I was like an old lady. Yeah, I don't know. I I don't know what I want to do. I don't know what which I want to do. Which is normal, which is normal at this age. But you gotta get it together or you can do liberal arts because you still have to take all your basic classes anyway. But you better know after that first year. I know, I feel like I need to know now. I need to figure it out because I feel like not now, necessarily because you still got to take your math you still got to take your science your biology you still got to take your basics so you have at least one good year but I kind of want to like go into it knowing what I want to do that's true. so I could like start like you know getting into all that but I, I really don't know I feel like because like now more than ever I feel like Everybody I know, like, they already know what they want to do, like, where they want to go in their life. But it's like, I have no idea. I literally have no idea. So I'm hoping that we'll be able to go, this is just for me. You know, I, I still want to interject what, you know, she is up to her. 
but I want her to do a tour of, you know, NYU and plus me going back home. So we can schedule a tour of NYU, Columbia, and what are other schools out there? Um, I got a letter from this school called Pratt Institute. Oh, that's more of a creative school. Yeah, it is. Yeah. They sent me a letter. But that's a good school, though. Because they saw my architecture interest online. Ah. And so they're <laughs> like, oh, we have, like, one of the top architecture programs. But I don't know. Yeah, so she's been getting a lot of mail. And I'm still not sure she'll get any bites for basketball. You think you'll get any bites for basketball? Um, my coach think I, thinks I do. I will, but honestly, I don't know. Her coach um, had a meeting with all the girls, and her coach had really, really wonderful things to say about her. Yeah, it was it was a good like I love evaluation time when it comes to basketball, just to know like how you contributed and like what you did over the season. Like it was just good to know. Mm -hmm. And so my coach thinks that. Oh, like you'll for sure play in the college, but I don't know. I don't know. And I feel as though like where I'm at right now, and this is just right now, like I still have a whole nother year. So um, where I'm at right now, I feel like my academics may take me to where I want to go more. Yeah, so it's education first and then sports. But if I go for basketball, then like that's college paid for. <laughs> We're gonna go with the flow. That's what we're gonna do. Okay? But it's just whatever happens happens and then they got their new um, GPA and rank in a school and she moved up a couple of notches. She's almost yes. at two digits Oh, I can't wait to make it to double digits. So you just got to stay on your grind girl yeah. Can't, You can't okay. fall off And I'm hoping I'm hoping by the end I'll be double digits and then my GPA will be a little higher, just a little higher. I'm satisfied, but not enough. And it's just like, I what feel is like your weighted GPA? Um, like 4.6 and change. But I'm hoping, like, I kind of want, like, I don't know if it'll happen, but I want to hit like 4.7 and higher before the end. And then I just want to be double digits in my rank. Because I'm right now I'm triple digits, which is... <sighs> but you're low triple digits. You're almost there, Bobby. I know. But it's just like... I won't be satisfied. You're you're like right there. You just got... Just, just like... Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> no, just... Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> uh, a little more than that. But it's, <laughs> it's a process. Because junior year... Mm -hmm. A lot of people yeah. fall off on junior year. A lot of people fall off. But she's been maintaining pretty good. But people's loss is my gain, so. Yes. So when will the new ranks come out? I won't get a new one until summer. So this is pretty much the last one until a while. For a while. So So you gotta knock it out the park, boo. Yeah. And it's like, I'm taking really hard classes next year, but like, this is the last, like, this is really the last semester that really counts for like, my college applications. Because we submit applications in like November or something. Are you serious? Yeah. You don't do it in your senior year? Well, yeah. no, Yeah, November. Oh, will be my okay. senior year. Okay, okay, okay. So. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay. So that's I get it. actually very soon. So my only thing is just SAT. Well, you got all the books over there. Uh, I'm going to start. I take my SAT in March, late March. So, and it's. Um, late February, so I need to get to studying for that. But we have spring break coming up, so. So that's gonna be your focus. Yeah, but it's just so hard to juggle it all because I have so much as is during school, so. And you can't take it in the summer? I can, there's like one session. Okay. But I have to sign up ASAP or else there's like, I think there's two more sessions. I kind of want to take them both. Just so I can, you know. But supposedly people do still very, recording. Okay. Supposedly people do very well at this one I'm going to take because it's during school. You're in that environment, you know. Okay. So, but I'm like, oh, I'm so proud of it. I'm so proud of it. It's rough. That's okay. Practice makes improvement. Improvement because nobody's perfect. People are so quick to say practice makes 
perfect nobody's perfect nobody is perfect so practice makes improvement that's what i say you can say what you say i say practice makes improvement because there's always room for growth yes mm -hmm. i agree well bobby i'm proud of you you you'll make the right decisions when the time comes it's on my side and then Sydney's freaking out about her passport. It's been oh. delayed. It's been a rough day for her. Yes, it has. Oh. Rough and if it's a rough day for her, it's a rough day for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very rough day for them both. Yeah. I was not a part of that. Lucky you. But. Mm -hmm. so, well. Again. And she's wearing her little necklace. Oh, uh, yes. I love it. It has my name on it. It's mm -hmm. beautiful. Yeah. But, again, thank you yeah. to everybody who sent me something. I apologize for being very long overdue. She's been busy with school yes. and basketball. It's been crazy. Or, or I've been tired. Or she's studying. She's in here studying nonstop. I mean, it's crazy non-stop it's been a very busy year very busy year i will say junior year is tough it's extremely tough mm -hmm. but you've been holding it down no pain no gain right mm -hmm. a lot of late nights mm -hmm. but it's all worth it in the long run so yes thank you for joining us yes. and thank you again for my wonderful gifts that have made my room very beautiful. Mm -hmm. She loves everything. Yes. She loves the setup. And this desk right here, um, I bought this for my classroom. But after I realized that the kids don't really, really appreciate this stuff. And I know I knew Bobby wanted a desk. I was like, Bobby, do you want this desk in here? This desk would have been destroyed. They don't appreciate anything. Mm -mm. So I'm glad I pulled this from the classroom right away. and She loves it. Yes. And I, I've been wanting a desk for so long. Mm -hmm. You guys have no idea. Yeah. Because it's important to have that, you know, like, this is where I do my work and this is where I sleep. Because, you know, it's like there's that research that says if you do your homework in your bed, then your sleeping place is no longer your sleeping place. So it's harder mm -hmm. to fall asleep. Oh, you okay. associate your bed with work. Oh, so. You know, I associate my bed with editing. Yeah. That's where I do all my editing in bed. So that's why, like, maybe you have trouble sleeping. Oh, um, that's because you associate your mo your body associates your bed with. Oh, I have to work. But because I yeah I do have problems sleeping. So <laughs> that is that is a study. Oh, so maybe so. It's an actual study. So. Oh. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Well, yeah, well, your room looks great, Bobby. Thank you. It looks good. Yeah, you do need, like, a, I said, you should have had that big chair in here. Oh, yeah, I know what chair you want. And a little plant. I can see the plant, the plant of work. Yeah, like a really big, cute plant. Mm -hmm. But it is kind of empty right here. Yeah. But I feel like, you know, like every inch of my room is covered on the wall. I think the plant needs to go over there, though. In that corner? Mm -hmm. Oh, like right here? Yes. I don't know. I don't know. I, I do. Let me see. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with us and sharing this time with Bobby. Without Bobby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, guys. Until next time, give this video a thumbs up. Until next time. Later. Oh, oh, she, cha oh, she changed her lights on y'all. Uh, uh, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> give, me that, give me that red light special. It looks uh, orange. Red light special. I like coming here. I said, give me the red light special. Okay, what's this, blue? Yes, ma'am. Well, it's really nice. All right, guys, later.